What is up everybody? Ninja Nick here with Tactical Gaming bringing you guys another video. The FBI cannot be trusted. At all. Whatsoever. And we're going to get into it. This is No Time to Mince Words. Mike Johnson confronts FBI Director Ray. Dude needs to be held accountable. He needs to be arrested. Along with several other key members of the FBI, DOJ, ATF, and a whole lot of other government agencies who are not doing their jobs. We need to defund them. We need to start taking care of our country, our borders, and everything else. So, let's get into this. Chairman, Director Ray, this is no time to mince words. The American people have lost faith in the FBI. All of our constituents are demanding that we get this situation under control, and we have to do that. That's our responsibility. This is not a political party issue, sir. This is about whether the very system of justice in our country can be trusted anymore. Can't. Without that, no republic can survive. See, the American people that we represent are losing count of the scandals that are mounting. <laughs> the FBI has been involved. They've seen evidence that it's being used as a political tool by the Biden administration. They've seen counterterrorism resources being used against school parents, the homes of conservative political opponents being raided. They've seen conservative states being targeted over their election integrity laws and conservative Catholics and pro-life citizens characterized as violent extremists. Just last month, as you know, special former, uh, former special counsel John Durham sat right in that seat and testified that the Justice Department and the FBI should never have launched the bogus Trump Russia investigation. And his oh. report reluctantly concluded that the FBI, quote, failed to uphold its mission of strict fidelity to the law. Just last week, NBC had a oh, snap. only 37% of registered voters now view the FBI positively. 35% have a negative view. In 2018, by comparison, 52% of the country had a positive view of the FBI. There's a serious decline in the people's faith, and it's on your watch, sir. And then, July 4th, we had this explosive, mm -hmm. explosive 155-page opinion from a federal court in my home state of Louisiana. It explains uh -oh. in detail that the FBI has been directly involved in what the, con the court says is, quote, arguably the most massive attack against free speech in United States history. Yep. The court ordered the White House, DOJ, and FBI, among others, to immediately cease colluding with and coercing social media companies to suppress... Facebook, speech, Instagram, Twitter course, back in the day. ...conservative speech in particular. Director Ray, I find it stunning. You made no mention of this court opinion, either in your opening statement today or in this lengthy 14-page report that you prepared on July 12th, which is eight days after the court ruling. Have you read the ruling, sir? Probably not. I uh, am familiar with the ruling, and I've uh, reviewed it with our Office of General Counsel. Are you deeply disturbed by what they've told you about the ruling, if you haven't read it yourself? Uh, obviously, we're going to comply with the court's order, the court's preliminary injunction. We sent out guidance <coughs> to field and headquarters. Wasn't he a lawyer before he did all this? Like, come on now. Like, you, you should know all of this information. Orders uh, about how to do that. Uh, needless to say, the, the injunction itself is a subject of ongoing litigation, uh, and so I'll, I'll decline to comment further on Well, let me tell you what the court concluded, because it, it should be the first thing you think about every morning and the last thing you think about at night. They said that, quote, the court found, apparently the FBI engaged in a massive effort to suppress disfavored conservative speech and blatantly ignored the First Amendment's right to free speech. The evidence yep. shows the FBI threatened adverse consequences to social media companies that they did not comply with its censorship requests. <laughs> found that, quote, this seemingly unrelenting pressure by the FBI and the other defendants had the intended result of suppressing millions of protected free speech postings by American citizens. As a result, that's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, well before Elon Musk bought it. Huh. Go figure, right? Fucking FBI. The court states, for example... Millions of citizens did not hear about the Hunter Biden laptop story prior to the November 3rd, 2020 election. Page four of the court ruling lists some of the important subjects that the Biden administration and the FBI forced the social media uh, platforms to suppress. The evidence shows you, your agency, the people that directly report to you, suppressed conservative leaning free speech about topics like the laptop, the lab leak theory of COVID-19's origin, the effectiveness of masks and COVID-19 lockdowns and vaccines, speech about election integrity, in the 2020 presidential election, oh. security of voting by mail, even parody about the president himself, negative posts about the economy. The FBI made the social media platforms pull that information off the internet if it came from conservative sources. 
they, they did this under the guise that it was disinformation. Can you? Can oh, you I remember that. Disinformation. Now? The amount of stuff. The amount of stuff that Facebook and Instagram removed or blocked or censored because they're like, oh, that's disinformation. It's like, no, it's not. Everything I say is either a fact or straight out an opinion, and you can tell that it's an opinion. But a Democrat can sit there and come out and straight out fucking blatantly lie. Totally fine. Totally fine. Focuses not on disinformation, broadly speaking. Well, wait a minute. Yes, well, wait a minute. Can you're, I you're, answer the question? You can in a minute. Your star witness said in the litigation, Elvis Chan, who's in charge of this, said they do it on the basis of di disinformation. We need, a, we need a definition of what that is. Our focus is on malign foreign disinformation, that is, foreign hostile actors who engage in covert efforts to misuse <laughs> our social media platforms, which is something that is not seriously in dispute. Foreign. So then why is it? Millions of Americans were having their stuff blocked or censored. Americans. People who live in America. Not someone in another country. None of that bullshit. No. Americans. This motherfucker straight out lying. I have to stop you for time. That's not accurate. You need to read this court opinion because you're... Can't trust the FBI. The court has found... And Elvis Chan testified under oath in charge of this for you. He said 50%. He had a 50% success rate in having alleged election disinformation taken down or censored. That, that wasn't just for an adversary, sir. That was American citizens. How do you answer for that? Well, first off, I'm not sure that's a correct characterization. It comes right out of the opinion. You should read what I, of, of his testimony. But what I would say is the FBI is not in the business of moderating content. Or causing any social media company to suppress or censor that is not what the court has found what I would yeah. also say is among the things that you listed off I find ironic the reference to the lab leak theory the idea that the FBI would somehow be involved in suppressing references to the lab leak theory is somewhat absurd when you consider the fact that the FBI was the only the only agency in the entire intelligence community to reach the assessment that it was more likely than not that that was the explanation. But your agents, your agents pulled it off the internet, sir. That's what the evidence in the court. Yep. Found. I'm the gentleman that's expired. The gentleman from the dude just keeps lying. He wants to sit there and go, "Oh, it was us. We're the ones who 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 mentioned the lab leak. We're the ones who found that out." Um. Yeah. Well, after the fact, you waited for a specific time after Trump was no longer president. And everything else to finally come out with the, uh, oh, the lab leak was true. This, that, and the other. So fuck off, Mr. Christopher Ray, And sit on it and rotate. Hopefully, you go to jail. You lose your job. You have to sit there and work fucking fast food, retail, or something like everyone else. Because uh, you be fucked. Or at least you should be. So, like, share, subscribe. Can't trust the FBI. Don't trust the FBI. Don't trust the fucking government. Spread the word. Stay free, America. Love you guys.